Hey everybody, thanks for checking in. Excited that you are here. Today is my brother Tim's birthday, so happy birthday, Tim. Uh, I miss you, I love you. You're in the clouds, you're somewhere in the, in the water, in the palm trees, I don't know. Uh, for those of you who don't know, um, I lost my brother, uh, Tim, uh, uh, 21 years ago, which is crazy. Um, and it, it, things don't get better, they just get different. Okay? So if you've never had that experience, I'm, I'm, I'm glad you haven't. But if you have, uh, there's, you know that there is so much learning uh, that you learn, not only about yourself, uh, but about those you love, uh, about uh, life in general. And, and with each year that goes by, you kind of got to pat yourself on the back for surviving a, a loss like that, because it's just, it's just too, it's too big of a deal, right? Uh, but what I started doing many birthdays ago was I started celebrating cool things that I learned from my brother. So cool things that I learned from my brother, Tim. One of those, without a doubt, was to keep things simple, right? Which is a huge foundation for what I'm about in my coaching now, which is keep things simple. Keep things playful, keep things light, keep things moving so that you're making pro uh, progress. So one of the big uh, fundamental gifts that my brother had was as a carpenter. I mean, the guy could just, he could just make anything. It was just crazy, he could make anything. Um, and when I tried to work with him, I would screw up left and right. Right? Because number one, I didn't have the patience. Number two, I didn't have the talent for it. Number three, I didn't have the knack uh, and being okay with failure. Right, And he would measure twice, cut once. That's the carpenter's rules. Measure twice, cut once. Uh, which brings me to the thought of keeping things simple. He said it's not difficult to trim a piece of wood. It's also not difficult to measure the piece of wood you need. But you need to measure twice, cut once. Because the first time you measure more likely is right but the second time you're double checking your work right and you're in your in your and you're making sure that you're being as accurate as possible and that whole carpenter's rule to measure twice cut once is just so important when you're thinking about life like as i think about making decisions i used to overanalyze everything instead of like making the decision checking it and then moving i would sit there and think about it once think about it twice Think about it a third time, see if everybody agrees. And by then, the thing that I wanted to build, it was too late, right? It's just, it, the moment passed, the inspiration passed. If the inspiration passes, then the amount of perspiration that's required uh, uh, dwindles in, in respect to how much you're willing to put forward. So something I want you to think about in honor of my brother, uh, love him, in honor of my brother, are you measuring more than twice? Are you overanalyzing so many different things? Because what you're about to build or what you want to build or what you're inspired to build is far more important trying than it is whether it's going to be perfect or not. My brother never worried about whether it was perfect. He loved the process and making progress. Never about perfection. His work was perfection in my eyes. But he always said that there's always this little margin for room for improvement or margin for error. So measure twice, cut once, carpenter's rule. Please stop overanalyzing things. Please stop overthinking things. If it inspires you to act, then act. Ugh. I, that used to just beat me down so much, so much. Worrying about what everybody else is gonna think, what's everybody else gonna say? Oh, so and so did it so much easier. How come it's not easy for me? Blah, 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 blah. Look, you are worth giving it a shot. See what happens, get a result, go back and adjust, measure once, measure twice, cut. Just enjoy the ride, right? Just enjoy the ride. Happy little trees, like Bob Ross says. Anyway, thank you for checking in. Uh, I appreciate it. Always appreciate it. Please make sure you subscribe. Please make sure you share. Uh, please make sure we have podcasts. We got we're all over the place. All of your support means the world to me, and all of it is so appreciated. I just love the support and, and, and the encouragement. It's awesome. Why is it awesome? Because you matter. I appreciate you. Go get them.